Hi everyone, this is Dr. Sophia and I'm back with another video finally. I'm sure many of you have been waiting for this video which is about the Emory exam and the medical residency training programs in the UAE. So stay tuned for this video. Before I begin, thank you so much to all my subscribers because I've got more than a thousand subscribers already and I'm very happy about all the support that I got from you guys. I hope you continue with that. If you're someone who wants to specialize in the UA, then this video will give you all the necessary information about the residency training programs in the UA as well as the Emory exam. So first, I want to give you the information about the Emory exam. What is it? How is the pattern? When is it held? What is the fee? And then I'll be talking about the eligibility and selection criteria to get into the residency training programs. And of course, I'll give you an overview about the different specialties that are offered in the UA. Um, so actually, I've got my laptop here because everything is on the website. So I'll be referring to that. There are two main websites that you really need to uh, look out for. One is the website for UA University. I'll give you the links also in the description box. Um, the It's like the FMHS meb.uaeu.ac.a don't worry i'll write it down um, this is a very important website because this will tell you all about the registration and the exam most of the information is there and the other website that you really need to refer to is the dha.gov.ae because obviously that is um if you if you're especially um focusing to go into the residency program of the dubai which is dubai health authority so I'm very much, um, what do you say, I'm very much into DHA because my license is from there and I have most of the information about DHA. But with the Emory exam, you can apply to any place. It can be hard, it can be MOH. All right. So I don't want to like overwhelm you with all the information. So let's take it step by step. First, I'll talk about the Emory exam. So starting off with what is Emory? Emory, which is the full form is Emirates Medical Residency Entrance Examination is one of the pre-entrance exams which is necessary for you to give if you want to apply for the medical residency programs in the UAE. So before 2020, before 2020, yes, it was known as MSTRIX exam. I don't remember the full form but the purpose was the same but since January 2020 they changed the name from MSTRIX to EMRI. E -M -R -E -E. Okay, so about the Emory exam, it's held in UA University College of Medicine and Health Sciences, which is located in Alain. It's held from December up till March of every year. So there are a total of four exams uh, starting from December, January, February, March. Okay, sometimes they have it in April also, but officially it's until March. The registration for the exam is done online through the UA University website. I will give you the uh, link in the description box. And um, the payment is also done online, of course. It's uh, for 700 dirhams, including the VAT. So each candidate has a total of six attempts that they can use for giving this exam. So by attempts, I mean if it, even if you have passed the exam, uh, you can give it again and again until you obtain your highest score because the competition is very high for the medical residency entrance here. So the main aim should be to score as high as possible. So there are many people who give the exam again and again. Uh, your best chance is to give the exam four times, uh, like from December um, until March, register for each exam. That is going to give you higher chances of getting into the residency training program. The registration for the exam is done on a first come first serve basis which means that you should register as early as possible usually there is only like a week um, time given for the registration so the seats are limited uh, so you need to register in the earlier phase because even if the registration has not yet closed and the seats are full then you lost your chance for that exam the exam is computer based and it's uh, mcqs so you have a total of 120 MCQs and you get a time of 3 hours. Um, so you have to manage your time according to the... So the exam is actually at the level of the information that a fresh medical graduate would have. 
uh, they usually test you on the clinical knowledge mainly focusing on the management and diagnosis of diseases and also sometimes uh, there will be pathology questions and pharmacology questions so you you shouldn't ignore the basic sciences but mainly it is clinical based and they test you on all the specialties like ob general surgery, medicine, psychiatry, pediatrics, like all, everything is covered but there is a percentage for each and even when you get your result they will actually tell you according to the different topics like psychiatry this much percent and you know so on and you know on the UA University website you can find the sample questions for the Emory exam so looking at that would give you a good idea of what the exam is going to be like honestly passing the exam is not really a difficult thing because most of the people pass this exam but the main thing is scoring high as I mentioned before so the highest you score like mainly if you at least score above 85% then you could try for applying for the residency program. However, I think mostly people with 90% and above get shortlisted. Like, try to aim at 90% if you are very serious about this. And apart from this, after the Embry exam, when uh, you get shortlisted, you will be called for MMI, which is the multiple mini interviews. Um, they're going to test you on your soft skills mainly and clinical skills. Um, I never got to attend that so I cannot like give you personal experience but I know people who have attended it so uh, scoring well in MMI is also very very important because that is going to give you the offer whether you're going to go for the residency or not but even getting shortlisted from the Emory uh, exam score itself is a big thing Okay, so now what is the eligibility and selection criteria uh, in order for you to be able to give the Emory exam? So I will be reading that out from the dha.gov.ae website. Um, you can also have a look. I'll just give you a summary of three to four points which are important. So from my video itself, you'll know whether you are eligible for the exam or not. So first thing is that um, you should have done a, a recognized internship of 12 months. Uh, the pattern should be six months uh, medical specialties and six months of uh, surgical specialties um, and of course you must be a graduate from a medical school which is recognized by the WHO um, duration since bachelors until application to the residency program should not exceed five years so you can only go for a specialization within five years of your graduation okay so that's the most important point um, and you should not have um, a gap of um, 12 months uh, being out of the clinical practice during that time and if you have graduated from UA then you need to attest your certificates like your degree or internship certificate and all the documents from the Ministry of um, Education UAE and if you are outside if your degree is from outside then you have to do it from ministry of education ua of course but apart from that ua embassy and the foreign um, ministry of foreign affairs in dubai so well this is like uh, a few of the important criteria that i mentioned but the rest you should definitely read out everything before you actually apply for the emory exam so IELTS, oh my god, how can I forget about that? You need to do TOEFL or IELTS before you could apply for the Emory exam. Um, so that's, you need to score at least six or above in IELTS and for TOEFL at least 550 or above. All right, and since I know that most of my audience uh, is foreign medical graduates, so I want to point out for you guys that if you want to give this exam, then you need to arrange for your visa accommodation everything on your own so these people are not going to help you out in any way for that so that's why it's actually more convenient for those who are living in the UAE already who are residents here it's convenient for them to give the exam because um, they also ask for the Emirates ID and I think they will accept the passport of course because it is allowed to give the exam even for foreign medical graduates and people coming from outside but I'll tell you the real 
deal here like the competition for getting into the residency program is very very high even for people who've graduated from the UA I know this because I've been here and I've been studying here um, so since I'm a UA graduate I know all this information some of the things which were going on in our um, in our friend circle was that they usually accept people who are Arabs okay I'm not trying to discriminate but like this is the reality and of course it makes sense uh, because this is an Arabic country first of all people who are uh, Emiratis okay that is a given for them that they will be getting into the training program uh, then comes the other GCC countries and then the other Arabs and after that they just have this two to three seats maybe for the expats like from India, Pakistan, Bangladesh and you know it's a very high competition um, but no harm in trying and uh, the seats are limited that's the problem here so actually the residency training program over here is certified by the Arab board so if you become a specialist through this training program then you are going to be recognized only in the GCC countries it's not a worldwide uh, residency program like the US and the UK which is international right and it's recognized everywhere but over here it's only certified by the Arab board also there is this another disadvantage that some of these specialties are exclusive for the UA nationals means like you cannot get into that it's not available to other nationalities and um, I'll give that in the screenshot after this you can also have a look at the duration of each of the specialty that is offered here and um, which is open to expats and which is not open so here is the photo See, personally speaking, I feel that uh, it's a better idea to go for the UK or the US if you want to specialize, if you're a foreign medical graduate, uh, especially if you're from countries like uh, Pakistan, India or Bangladesh, it's better to go for something which is worldwide recognized because over here, first of all, the competition is high and the second thing is it's only recognized by the Arab board. Uh, so if you really want to stay here and you think of a future only in the in the Gulf then yes you can go for this training program you can try but uh, if not then it's better to go for the others as I mentioned as for the resources of the Emory exam currently I don't have any because I'm not aiming for this exam at this point uh, but there are many recalls that are going around and there are many telegram groups and whatsapp groups I'm sure you can find that try on Facebook or you know Twitter maybe you'll get some link because I don't have it at this point I'm sorry about that so I hope I've covered most of the information that you would have wanted to know and if I have not touched on some point then you can ask me in the comments and apart from that it's best that you also refer to the two websites that I'm going to link in the uh, description box all of the information is provided there so you can refer to that so thank you so much for watching i hope you found my video useful please do not forget to subscribe for more videos like that thank you and take care